Hey, hey, what's up guys? Slice here, and uh, yeah, I know it's been a real long time since I've uh, uploaded a video, but uh, I gotta tell ya, it's been a pretty busy time since the last time I've uploaded. With hunting season came, um, I absolutely just had a horrible hunting season. We'll get into that, I'll, I'll get into that later, but uh, yeah, I'm back and... I want to start doing some videos again this is kind of a lull time in my life where it's just nothing but work and cold and and uh, nothing really else to do but just hang with the family and and play some video games when I get off work they're already sleeping so I'm definitely going to be getting back into uh, playing more consistently but before we get into all that um, I just want to let you know what we're doing here I decided to come in just do a little quick uh, rabbit hunt see if I can't shoot some rabbits with the shotgun or maybe do a couple long shots with the snake bite with the rangefinder say hi to you guys maybe make this a short video I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm seeing rabbits you know I'll keep going but we'll see how that goes but I do have a lot to talk about and uh, I still am getting subscribers on YouTube and man I really appreciate it you guys have stuck with me I know some of you are like oh he gave up on it I mean it's not like I have been keeping track of the news of the hunter and everything like that and I have my opinions on that and we'll get to that again later too so but anyways let's go ahead and shoot this rabbit and get things started I got him locked down right here it looks like and uh, I think I'm just gonna try to take him with the, the over under uh, 12 gauge shotgun and uh, let's move up on this rabbit and see what we can do. I'm not sure, but I think there was another one on the left-hand side. So I might be ready for a double. And uh, by the way, guys, if you noticed, yes, this is going to be in 720p and uh, not 1080 because I'm, I put it on 60 frames a second instead of like uh, 40 frames a second. Um, because at 1080p, I, I just, uh, you know, it's really taxing if you try to do 60 frames per second at 1080p. It's uh, really tough, but, well, it is for my computer. But, um, I and I also lowered, since I'm doing some rabbit hunting, down to medium on uh, texture. And I gotta admit, it really did cut it down. I mean, look at that. That looks bare. Matter of fact, I think I see another... Yeah, another rabbit right over there so this actually might work out it's okay you know it's okay but let's go ahead and uh, see if my shot is still on par here because this will be my first shot I have not shot at a rabbit um, since last fall so let's see if we can I'm gonna go ahead and pull the gun up since it's just so slow so I'm gonna try to get him to jump there he goes and not too bad not too bad he didn't really take off on me did he he just kind of turned around but I think it was a headshot yeah it was well at least I I splattered his ears <laughs> but I gotta tell you guys I, I probably said it in the previous videos before uh, let's see a male not bad 1.4 kilograms not sure if that's pretty good or not but uh, we'll go ahead and We'll go ahead and go over here and see if we can't pin that other one down. I believe it was over here. I should have marked him. Let me come back up here where I seen him. And then uh, he was over on this side here. He should still be over there. Let's take a look. But, yeah, so much to talk about. Let's talk a little bit about my hunting season. <laughs> Even though I don't want to, guys, it never did end up being uh, came came good up for me. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, there isn't a whole lot to talk about except for maybe a couple mishaps and uh, just the lack of deer. I mean, period. I, I it almost seemed like the rut didn't even happen for me this year, um, except for a couple little ones um, like a spike buck, uh, a four corn. And uh, that was about the biggest buck I've seen, except for one time. I and yes, I am going to admit it, guys. Um, this is you know usually people don't talk about it, but I did hit two deer this year and couldn't find either one of them with vigorous searching and and just doing everything I can. But I know for sure that both of them lived. And I'm not just saying that because, uh, 
you know, I don't want to think that they died. No, it's true. Because the first one I hit a doe, and it just grazed her. I had long white hairs. And if you, uh, if you Google it, which trust me, I was because I was just, you know, you always second guess yourself. I knew what it was. It was, uh, it was just belly hair. I didn't even probably cut into her. I didn't get no blood. I just got a patch of hair, uh, where she was standing at. And, uh, I gotta admit it was, it was, a it was a tough shot. Um, ooh, fling. So we got one running this way that, that we might have locked down. We need to be ready with the shotgun right away. Uh, reload um, but yeah she was in some really tall grass I got to admit that's pretty much what I hunted uh, thought I heard her heard that rabbit over here but uh, yeah she was in some tall grass um, I think I just shot right underneath her man but then the other one, it was actually a fork horn. It was getting late. I knew the rut was winding down. And uh, I ended up... It, oh, well, this, this buck came in on my Tink 69. I, I ended up laying a, a drag out. And uh, this buck came, came in right, I mean, footstep for footstep. Except for, I drug all the way to the bottom of the ladder stand I was sitting in. And the problem with that is, if you don't circle your stand out there, because you never really expect them to, like, follow it to the T, you know? Only, I guess, you would say little ones would do that. You'd probably hardly ever see a big buck coming in with his nose down the whole entire way, all the way to your tree stand. Usually they'll sniff and they're looking up and, and, and they're uh, kind of circling a little bit to see if they can actually catch the uh, estrus from her, like fresh. Uh, he just, big mature bucks just basically use the ground scent as, okay, now I know I have a mature doe in my area and uh, I'm going to look around for her. He's not going to just put his nose down and put himself in that kind of situation most of the time. But, um, yeah, he came in right underneath me, looked right at me. He started walking away. He didn't think nothing of it. Uh, started walking away nice and slow. And, uh, I was like, okay, you know what? I need meat this year. Really getting low. I know I don't have enough to sustain me through grilling season, uh, in the summertime because I love grilling and venison and, and, and all that and and uh, so I waited he got out there probably I mean I just didn't have a shot until he got out there about 30 yards usually a chip shot you know I practice all summer I shoot all summer I like shooting my bow um, not I'm not gonna make an excuse but, but it is kind of an excuse what have I mean obviously you practice in the summertime and they tell you all the time you know like hey practice with thick clothes on so you know you're ready and it was uh, unpredictably cold very early where I am uh, when I was hunting November 15th I think was like 20 degrees not for sure exactly but I remember I was freezing man I had I had foot warmers oh there's a rabbit right there I had foot warmers, hand warmers, I mean, you name it, <laughs> and I was still freezing, man, but, uh, anyways, let me try to concentrate on this rabbit right here, see if there's any more around, he's gonna bust, boom, alright, that's how I like taking him, dang, I don't think there's anything left of that rabbit. Jeez. Go ahead and reload that right there. Okay. So we'll just pick him up real fast. Male 1.1, so the first one was still bigger than that one. But, uh... Yeah, he got out there about 30 yards, and I had my camera with me, guys. I just... 
I didn't strap it on my head because, man, it was just so cold. You just didn't even want to, you know, deal with it, to be honest with you. And plus, I'm kind of afraid my $200, cam $200 camera or $280 camera uh, can't sustain those kind of temperatures. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the manual it's saying, you know, nothing under like 40 degrees. Um, you know, it is just a little handheld camera. It's nothing special. I don't even know if GoPros, you know, I'm pretty, I guess GoPros could handle them, you know, if they're encased or something like that. But I don't have that kind of camera. And, uh, anyways, I drew back. I settled it right behind his chest. And, uh, I believe I even had my pin set at, at you know, 30 yards. And, um, Boy, for some reason, I just kind of raised that pin up just a little bit. For some reason, it just felt like at the angle, uh, as high up as I was, for some reason, I just thought that that arrow was going to drop a little bit, you know? And, and I should have known better because it's always better to aim low than it is high. I mean, it was just straight rookie mistakes that I don't make. And at this time, I don't know what it was. There's really no excuse, but I did, man. I mean, it was just two nice rookie mistakes that I did right away. Because I wasn't even sure if I was going to shoot him, to be honest with you. Because he was a four-corn. He had a pretty nice body on him, though, you know. But it just, oh, there he is. There's Rabbit. I don't know, wonder how many of you guys seen him and was like, there he is right there gonna bust oh did I hit him nice that was I have to admit that was a jerk right there when I pulled that trigger jeez right ear <laughs> uh, I don't know if I ended up finishing that sentence before but I was going to say rabbits are one of the weakest uh, prey ever that I mean I'm telling you right now I've seen one pellet out of a shotgun hit a rabbit and kill it you know and and they are I mean they you don't even um, you don't even need a knife to skin them all you gotta do is just poke a hole in them uh, with a stick on their upper back you just pinch that extra skin above their uh, their spine there and and when you that's a I don't, I don't know if I want to be over that way I want to go over this way you have found a track of a white-tailed deer, but you do not care. Yeah, I know. Yeah, guys, I haven't. Uh, I do not have a membership right now. Um, I'm just now getting back in. I'm sure I'll grab another membership. Yeah, it's gonna depend though on if I just get the inkling to play something like do some uh, duck hunting or do something like that. But uh, that's where that white tail was. It's kind of gonna go up here yeah you all you gotta do is poke a hole in their skin and uh, just rip them apart really you I mean not don't rip the rabbit apart but you just pull one direction whoa whoa why did that ah oh I forgot about the I forgot pheasants weren't free my bad but um yeah, you could just pull on each direction and it'll basically just peel their skin right off. So there might be a rabbit right in here somewhere. I gotta reload, don't I? But uh, anyways, what I was saying before that, I just wanted to finish my sentence about the rabbit being able to skin them with no knife. They're very weak prey. I mean, they're, they, they are like the perfect prey animal. The only defense they have is... Uh, camouflage running and just basically trying to get away from you and uh, they're very light you know they they have uh, you know very light skin light not many guts in them at all you can pretty much just scoop them out same with birds I, I almost I, I got freaked out the first time I actually uh, skinned a pheasant that is not rabbit tracks Tra rabbit droppings I'm tired of Doc telling me, you don't have this. Well, what the heck am I looking at here? Oh, mule deer. 
All right, we gotta get back on some rabbits. I think I'm getting lost here. Uh, what I need to do is go up this way, I think. But um, what was I talking about before that? Uh, I don't know. I was just rambling about a bunch of stuff. But anyway, oh yeah, my hunting season. Duh. Uh, okay, yeah. So I let the arrow fly, man, and it hit exactly where my pin was at and I just kicked myself right away because I I raised the pin up a little bit because for some stupid reason I thought I was gonna get a arc on it maybe because it was cold and I don't know whatever and uh, so it thuds man it just whack you know he bolts turns around bolts through some real thick stuff I'm watching them the entire time the arrows not even moving it's just perfectly stationary I know I hit bone shoulder blade I'm hoping at this point since I know it's not spine or he would have dropped right away I'm hoping at this point that uh, I caught the other side of the you know shoulder bone because it could still go through his vitals I wasn't sure at the time and and stick into the other side shoulder bone you know but I knew I hit high and I was like not good I don't think not good man cuz he looked like he just had all kinds of energy so I was like well it's either gonna be real good or real bad I got pumped and let him go for a long time, but he ran so far, I saw him just bolt and bounce and everything else about 60, 70 yards before he finally went into the woods there, and, and I got down. I know I heard that rabbit. But, uh, yeah, he just bolted. I went down. Didn't Obviously, I knew he took off with my arrow. Um, no blood at the scene. Got some hair. I was like, man. I tried to go through that thick stuff that he was going through, and it just was not happening. <laughs> so then... He's fleeing down this way, so I think he's going to be right down here. Oh, it says he's roaming there. I went into his entry. took me forever because I'm on my hands and knees. You know? And uh, I shot him in the morning, too. I shot him at like 8 in the morning. I looked for blood. I finally found blood at the point of entry or when he went into some big tall pines. It's thick in there. It had some actually really nice undergrowth, but they were nice leafy stuff, so it wasn't like bad. It wasn't like scrub brush. Where's that rabbit at? You guys probably already saw him. He's supposed to be right around here. I found drop, but then... I actually found a drop, a couple drops that had bubbles in it. The first drop I found was dark, so I'm like, okay, meat, that's meat, you know. And then I found two drops that had that had uh, bubbles, and <sighs> I'm like, okay, I hit lung, I hit lung, you know what I mean? I'll, I'm stoked at this point. I'm like, all right, you know, I. T I've it's tough finding animals with one lung, but I'm gonna find this this one, you know. So then I'm going and it's like, all right, here's a drop, no bubbles. Here's a drop, no bubbles. I mean, I didn't find another 50 yards of barely any blood, drip, 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 and it was all dark, like there was nothing, or you know, it was just straight meat. And seven and a half hours that day. I was on my hands and knees, um, aside from just step, tapping, taking a step back and eating some lunch right around 1 o'clock. 
got right back on it nothing hunted in the next morning got back down went back lost blood could not even determine which oh, where's it oh he was behind me shit happens in rabbit hunting when you're blabbing so now I'm really at this point I'm super discouraged man I'm just like damn you know I'm down and down 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 I just could not <sighs> didn't even want to do anything didn't want to go hunting because I was feeling unworthy about you know just oh there you are just go fling one where's he at is that him right there boy he like stopped making noise right away I like it when they're in this tall grass sometimes though. Makes it really challenging. What you want to do is you want to get up on this high ground like right here. Yep, there he is. Oh, missed that one. Boom! Got him on the second shot. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome right there, man. So yeah, anyways. So that happened, man. And got busted right four leg my ass <laughs> but uh, got busted plenty of times man the deer were on to me you know um, just being late sometimes I'm I'm coming back from having breakfast and that's how it works you know a lot of times I go out I, you know you come in you go get an omelet and some, some hash browns you know some toast because you're gonna hunt all day you know what I mean? So you, you want that nice warm meal in you right around, you know, 12 o'clock or, you know, 11 o'clock. You start getting real hungry at about 10. But 10's a real good time to be in the tree stand when the rut's going on. 10, 11 o'clock, it's really good because uh, actually the deer run all night mostly. And then um, what happens after that is they'll lay down in the mornings, you know, and it'll be like foggy and stuff like that. So they know they can't see that much anyway. So then they, uh, then they get up. Ooh, there's a rabbit right there. I seen him over that hilltop. Right there. We're gonna. Ooh, he's running. There he goes. But uh, yeah. It, and then all of a sudden they get up at like nine, ten o'clock. Man, they just can't take it no more. They just know there's some does out there. And uh, and and I gotta tell you, this year has really has really pretty much woke, it's changed some things for me in deer hunting it really has uh, I learned some stuff this year that I just did not believe happened ever in the deer world Be, I thought these guys a lot of times but I I don't know it's really tough because I I hear some of these guys say this shit and it's like bullshit deer don't lock down on does when they become in heat Deer freaking mate and move on. You know, that's something that I have believed for the last decade because I've witnessed it. You know, I've I've seen deer like nail this one and then just go, you know. But I learned something very important from these guys that are saying that the deer are locking down with these does right before they go into estrus is because I realized how much more smart big mature uh, bucks are compared to a two and a half year old and under um, but the three they start doing when they're three and a half four and a half years old they they really get like they know you know like when a doe's about to come in heat within the next 12 hours so yes they will lock down with that doe and she's maybe even the matriarch you know the the 
oldest doe in the bunch so you know her cycle is spot on and everybody else is just taking following up and you know what I'm sitting here rambling but and I totally lost that rabbit that went over the hill I thought for sure his ass was so now I have no idea but uh, bucks sense it you know older bucks they sense it but I can't say that I think I just seen a rabbit go over that hill right there but I can't say that that's any type of deer that I could possibly be hunting right now on public land you know what I mean like on public land it should be damn free for all except for a couple bucks that might match up you know eight pointers or ten pointers might match each other up and do some fighting and stuff you know but uh, I just don't see him locking down on public land you know what I mean but it almost seems like that's what happened this year because there was just I did not see one mature buck this year not one and I spent every weekend to the point to where my wife was like boy you are lucky you put it in our vows that I can't tell you you can't go hunting or fishing <laughs> I did I made her put it in her vows that she can't ever tell me that I can't go hunting or fishing. But I was hunting from the time I woke up early before light to the time it got dark, man. You know? And I was hitting it hard and I just was not making it happen. So, that was basically it. And, you know, a couple, of, I mean, you know the hunt see it was just cold and, and not a lot I, I I just was very impatient this year when it came to hunting I was I was too impatient and uh, I need to learn my lesson I did a lot of hunting on the ground that was mostly it was it was a mistake I should have never thought that I was going I mean even though I hit that doe from the ground I was hunting on the ground I hit that doe it still was not an ideal situation to be doing because yeah I got busted so many times man I had this one big old doe come in on me and it was perfect it's exactly what I pictured what would happen but for some reason man she as soon as she came through the little pinch point of these pine trees and I was set up she freaking spotted me I don't know how I don't know how but she did like it was no problem I mean she didn't like bust out of there with her tail up but she just felt like something was not right and she just turned around and uh, gave one little snort and kind of did that little stiff walk you know like where they stiffen their legs up and just kind of walk off yeah she she was calling me a little boy at that time like yeah right little boy like you think I'm gonna fall for that and I've been hunting for freaking 14 years, 15, 16, about 16, 17 years. And she treated me like a little kid on that one. Oh, he's fleeing. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll get on this. Oh, you know what? Now that I said all that, you guys, uh, not trying to make this video. Well, I guess I could make it long. I mean, shit. But it's just rabbit hunting. I know you guys in oh crap where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go how did I miss that rabbit um I wanted to tell you if you guys are still watching this video and you're actually happy to see me back uh, super appreciate it sorry it took so long but uh, oh yeah in Christmas I, I wanted to mention throw out Christmas guys we had the largest Christmas in my family this year than 
we ever have. So I spent three thousand dollars on my kids. Freaking, we had the whole shebang. Freaking Christmas tree decorations, parties, all this and that, food and everything like that. And I had a week and a half off. Totally expected to get some gaming in, but it almost seemed like every single day was. Did this rabbit turn go over this way? But, uh, yeah, so I didn't even get to do no, uh, any, like, uh, gaming then. But, uh, anyways, I wanted to tell you guys, I know that you probably are just subscribed because I play the Hunter. Uh, you know, I'm hoping not. But, I'm definitely, I just don't feel like the Hunter can carry too much weight like any as far as like you know maybe a couple thousand subs or whatever and this and that and and plus I really want to start getting into the twitch thing I'm getting a different computer set up and stuff coming up pretty soon so I'm not gonna stop playing the hunter uh, it's just that it, you're gonna you guys are probably gonna see a lot more other variety of games from me like consistently unless the hunter probably drops white tail can't do that but unless the hunter like usually drops new content uh like something like that and that rabbit totally freaking did like uh juked me man I, but while i'm talking it's hard for me to bring in the old instincts i don't know if rabbit didn't even come across here but anyways I'm going to start dropping some different content. There's plenty of other games out there that I play and I like to. And and most likely a lot of my time is going to get eaten up in the middle of the night by Twitch. Because uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna want to start doing that. I know everybody and their mom wants to do it. But I'm, I'm just, that's kind of something. I want to interact uh, live with, with people and talk to people and and. and, and get some pretty good friends cool friends and, and game with people game with the people who come watch me with twitch and do things like that uh and it is going to be in the middle of the night uh you guys probably know at this point if you've watched any of my previous videos and stuff like not any because i don't talk about it all the time but uh i do game during the middle of the night so um yeah i'm gonna be playing a lot of other different games and, and things like that I just don't feel the hunter just can't can sustain my satisfaction because to be honest with you guys I'm not too happy with the direction and, and it's not it's who cares if I'm not you know I don't have nothing to do with this game or anything I don't I don't game with the devs or they don't ask me my opinion or anything like that you know but uh, I'm just not too particularly happy with the direction that the hunter's going uh, it's kind of you know um, disappointing to me that they're more worried about how much content they could drop in this game than they are like the quality of the hunts that can kind of happen in this game um, as far as like animal to animal interactions things of that nature and uh, I'm not sure yet but I might even upload a, a different game little piece right at the end of something cool that I saw in, a, in another game that I think that, that the hunter could totally in infuse into this game to just bring the immersion to skyrocketing levels like things you know that you could possibly see and and hopefully I'm not the only person that would want to see something like that you know I mean how awesome could it possibly be for you to be doing some of this uh this rabbit hunting here and uh you know we've been walking around we haven't fired our weapon for a while I'm not saying it's something that you could see every time you hunt or anything but maybe I come over this ridge right here and and uh, most people they're looking around like this and I think I just heard that buck he's like over that direction and like put eyes on him see what he looks like but yeah come over the hill and, and all of a sudden maybe you pull out the binos and look over here and you see something running through the woods and and it's a you know 
a few coyotes, you know, or even if they end up putting wolves in the game, you know, or something like that, you see them chasing down a deer, you know, and that deer's, man, he's flying, he's trying to get away, and, and, uh, you know, or, so, or they catch him, they don't catch him, they get away, they don't get him, you know, who knows, maybe, uh, uh, you come around over here, and you see a coyote try to use the terrain, and, and, you know, maybe there's a pheasant, or a couple pheasants over here, or in a different situation, and, and the coyote comes around a rock and tries to grab one, or, you know, I think that that would be the type of cool stuff that could possibly happen in the hunter, and I don't believe, and, and on top of the other things that they could do with, with deer interacting with each other, if you Google deer hunting uh, equipment, you will have pages upon pages on pages of stuff that you can buy, which this game could incorporate that type of stuff if they put that type of behavior from those animals like in real life into this game so do you understand what I'm saying that, that I don't know how much more clear I could be on that okay uh, but you know that's just my opinion I would hope that other people would want to see stuff like that and it, it it would just be endless instead of hey guys uh, we're dropping another reserve and we're gonna give you another animal that's gonna do the exact same stuff as this other animal that that is just another mirror image of that with behavior and just walking around and uh, look around animations and who cares that it's a coyote running right next to a white-tailed deer and nothing nothing of nothing happens you know, there's a mule deer over here. I got my bow with me. You know what? Let's cap the video off with killing this mule deer. How about that? So we're going to go ahead and mark him right now. He's probably a little closer than that. Yeah, that, that's okay. So, did I didn't even bring a, a call, I don't think. No, I got a stupid moose call. I just started walking out here, really. So we're going to shoot this mule deer with no call. We are going to put some scent eliminator on. Forget that. Because we have no sound suppression whatsoever with this ghillie suit. All we have is uh, is uh, sight reduction. So, but yeah, guys, I mean, hey, hit the like button if you want to, if, if you think that, you know, that's a good idea. Let's, I, I know that's already something they've heard and they said, you know, that's not the direction we're trying to go. And it's just like, really? That's not the direction you want to go? Immerse your hunters into wanting to play the game more often because they just don't know what can happen. Which, the game is kind of like that now. I mean, it does have its moments. Don't get me wrong. Best hunting game out there. There's hands down. I just personally would love to see some kind of interactions with the animals together. Because, man, I got to tell you, that is one of the main reasons. That is probably number two on my list. Number one is to probably get some meat, you know. I mean, you know, I definitely probably will wait most of the time for a buck uh, in sometime in November. But if I don't get one within, like, the first week, week and a half of November, it's go time. If it's brown, it's going down because I, I want some back straps, man. You know what I mean? I love, I mean, they all have back straps. It don't matter what they are. <laughs> and, and you know, like uh, stack sticks and everything like that. But I really do want another deer to make my house look even more, you know, beautiful. Because deer are a beautiful creature. And, and you know, and I would love to have a nice, beautiful, another beautiful, nice rack mount than... Um, I have another one. I need a hide for it, but the, uh, I already talked to a tra taxidermy, and they said that they would definitely be able to mount those antlers. So, um, oh, there he is, right over here. I just heard him. Oh, why don't I click on that first? Because I know he's right next to me. Dang it! So he's okay. 
Alright, he's going to be right, maybe even to my right a little bit. Alright, i got to slow down. I think he's right on the other side of this hill. Yeah, I can hear him. But yeah, I mean, they could do that with uh, plenty of different species. And I know that they're interested in doing an Africa uh, game. And, I mean, it's just something that would just be obvious, you know what I mean? It's not like they told me personally, but... Obviously, they're going to want to do an Africa game. Everybody knows it's coming sooner or later. You know what I mean? So that's what I just don't understand is how could they possibly do an Africa game without having animal-to-animal -animal interactions in Africa. Africa is wild as shit. Even the, uh, uh, the wild boars over there and shit be fighting off lions and shit. You know what I mean? And lions kill them all the time. They couldn't possibly have leopards and things like that and gazelles and stuff like that if things aren't hunting them. Except for you. I mean, that's just going to be boring as shit. But they do have mass potential for how awesome Africa could be. You can hunt bamboo over there, uh, bamboons. Man, I got to tell you, those things would be awesome to hunt. For one, because bamboons are some vicious vicious creatures man they they eat little kids like if you leave your little kid unattended over there and shit and a bamboo will freaking run up and freaking eat your freaking kid grab your kid by the neck and run off they do it to gazelles all the time so what do we got here we got two bucks hanging out the one on the left definitely is the biggest one we got a rabbit there we got we got the whole we got the whole shebang of what we can hunt right there. Oh, really? Really? Oh, there was another one. I didn't even see that one. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice one. Man, that's messed up. How they see me like that? Oh, is it because I had my run thing even though I was crouched? Might be a bug or something. Man, how they see me? Damn it. Let's see, what else do I got? Do I have any... So I don't like multiplayer. What do I got here? Moose scent. What the hell do I need that for? Let's go ahead and put some number 9 on. Just to try to help us out some more. What, I can't do it while I'm walking? How's that work? Oh, it's equipped. I'm using it? No, you change, you, you freaking use it. I'm looking, I'm using the wrong thing. Duh. Let's try that, man. I don't know what the heck, why the... Freaking mule deer didn't even give me a shot, man. They spotted me right away. That was a nice buck, though, over there. Jeez, that's going to totally make this this video longer than it needs to be. <laughs> I don't know. It's been, a, you know, it's been a long time, so why not make a long video? It's just going to take, like, 15 hours to freaking upload on YouTube. Uh, uh, that's all right. Whatever. We'll see what happens here. Let's go over here. They're killing me, Smalls. They're killing me. And, uh, yeah, that's... I don't know. It's The Twitch thing needs to start happening pretty soon. I do... I do have to do some definite research on some things, man. Like, as far as... Heck, I don't even know how to get notifications and things up like that when I get followers, but... I think it's going to be fun, you know, I can't wait, I'm, I actually, when I watch Twitch, because I do watch Twitch, I watch games all the time, and, and I, I'm just kind of 
you know, jealous of these guys are playing and they're actually being able to interact with the chat and, and you know, like, I can't do that. Like, right now, I'm just talking, just to talk, you know, and let you guys know what's been going on and stuff like that. But at least you can talk about it. I could be getting your feedback right now. You know, and, and yeah, when I when I do the Hunter or have some epic moments or something like that, you know, I will, because I'll be recording at the same time, I will end up, uh, whoa, that was too much, I'll end up, uh, you know, uploading them to YouTube and stuff, but, but uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for, if you still subbed, and you're still interested in seeing me put out some videos, I know it's been a long time, uh, I really appreciate that, and and uh, I'm gonna start throwing some con more content out. Right now, it's gonna be a lull time in my life. I mean, of course, I got I got one kid's birthday, which is no big deal. And well, I mean, it's a big deal to her, but it's not gonna hinder me from doing any gaming. And then uh, me and the wife got Valentine's Day, obviously. So I mean, I'm not gonna be doing any gaming that Saturday night. But um, yeah. I'm back, and hopefully you care. <laughs> How about that? Is that a rabbit? Because if that's a rabbit, it looks like we're just going to end this video on a rabbit. Which I don't think it's a rabbit. Sure would be nice if it was a rabbit, though. What do we got? Come on, are you kidding me? Yeah, I have to admit, I, I like hunting rabbit on medium. <laughs> Uh, terrain complexity it uh, definitely makes things a little more exciting 246 um, let's go ahead and geez I would love to find one more rabbit I know there's got to be one right around here let's run because we don't really care if we spook rabbits oh there's one right there guys we are definitely going to get him. There's no way he's getting away. There was another one running up there. There's one coming right at us. I don't know where he went or where he locked down. Got to be right here. Where'd you go? They're slick, man. I gotta tell you, especially when you're just kind of you're you're trying to jump shoot them, you know. There he goes. Miss. Oh, don't even tell me I didn't even get a. I didn't even get a pellet in him, did I? I shot to his left on that second one. He just cruised right down here. Is this him? Yeah. Yeah, so he's... They like to do that little circle there at the end. I can't believe I don't have a that means his butt's back here still dang it Did he cut right or something Man, 
he just gave me nothing after that last one. That's it right there. Yeah, this is where he came in and he ran down here. And then what the heck do you do? I think he... Oh! He pulls the... <laughs> he's hitting cover now. He's like he's he's like man. This guy is relentless. Where'd you go? Don't bust when I'm out here. He's slick. He's hitting all the right corners. Cause right there is where you just kind of have no idea which way he wanted to go. Damn it. Did he run down here? Or is this where he came from? Yeah, that's where he came from. There he was. Boom! Hit him right through the freaking tree. Man, he was all over. Boy, he was a hard one. Did he die right there? He still made it that far? Nice. Yeah, he did. <laughs> we will prevail ah uh, female 1.7 that is bigger than that first male I didn't check the last one I don't think well hey uh, thanks for watching guys and I really appreciate if you guys stuck around and uh, you, you know you like the videos and stuff like that because I'm going to be putting some more out and follow me on twitch man for sure because that's probably going to be happening pretty soon uh, I'm going to be getting a face cam I got a new desk coming uh, so probably definitely gonna try to be doing that I don't know probably I'm, I don't know now that I think about it it might just be a month cause I wanna get a really nice monitor and I just don't know if I got that kind of funds to go drop for a monitor right now I don't know that's still to be determined but anyways guys we'll see you guys later and thanks for watching i appreciate it and we will see you in the next video bye